I believe I have to mulligan for pirates. Do I keep Harrison? I already have mana burn volcanic potion. I might even keep the Harrison. But if this ends up being taunt warrior, now I missed the mulligan. I didn't see whether he kept that card or not. If it's taunt warrior, things might get a little bit more difficult. It's taunt warrior. Alright. So yesterday I lost against the taunt warrior. I was a little bit tired, I have to admit. I tried to go for a burn plan and he had two early armor smiths. So he was just able to gain like 30 armor from those armor smiths and warwind effects. But we'll see what happens this time. This is babbling book time. I'll probably try to take a little bit more board centric approach in this particular game. But we'll see. Well, that's a little bit nasty. Don't have a great way to deal with the ghoul. Nobler second volcanic potion, in a way. I guess I'll just play the ice barrier and hit face. I guess I guess I'll just do this. This way, maybe he will trade in with the ghoul. Then the ghoul will go down to one health. So there's, there are ways to ping it or otherwise kill it afterwards. This time I'll probably just fireball the brave. If this is now the path that I have chosen to take. I have the medieval in hand. So that gives me some ways, some ways to try to extract value. Cabal Courier gives him a free card draw. I have quite little other things to do though. Maybe I will give him those two cards. Mana Bind. Giving executes of rolls is probably not useful. Priest of the Feast. Well, it is a minion. Is it better than Drain Life? It probably is. I think I need some minion pressure. So he will get two cards, I cannot prevent that. Well, I could have prevented that by not playing the Cabal Courier. But we'll see. In this particular matchup, Volcanic Potion is not the card I want to find. He's able to find three cards. No, just the two. Alright. Two it is then. Two it is. No, that, that is one nasty fellow. I guess I'll play Priest of the Feast here. And start pinging that guy. Next turn I can coin out the Medivh. And then I can follow that up with a Flame Strike. Is he running Shield Slam in the deck? Now that was a surprise. Oh, the Stonehill Defender is extremely good because it enables Executes. So that's that's nasty. I think I'll still coin out the medieval. Let's see how this one goes. But he can just trade in with the Stonehill Defender and then uh, then execute. A lot of value in this one here. And he also had the execute available, so he doesn't have a lot of cards. The ones he has are pretty good. Divine Shield is also great news. So Flame Strike this turn is quite ineffective. I can still prepare for that with a Volcanic Potion, which will give me a tree drop on the board. Which is not that great either. I guess that's my preparation for playing Flame Strike next turn. I floated that mana because I didn't want two tree drops on the board. Let's see. 
Oh, but he's getting so many taunts all the time. It's looking pretty bleak, actually. I don't know, this matchup is supposed to be favored for the burn mage, but somehow I'm not able to make it work, really. No, oh, and he can trade into this. He can trade into this one. Unless I use the last charge. I don't want to use the last charge. Because I want to play Firelands Portal and get a 7 drop out of Atiyash still. But man. He has had a quite, a, quite a lot of taunts. Okay, then we Firelands Portal here. Couple of five fives. I guess couple of five fives is not too bad. And I can play the counter spell this turn. So that prevents any brawls or something like that. I don't think he needs to brawl though, but also cannot play a whirlwind. Cannot play sleep with the fishes. Maybe that's enough, but Sleep with the Fish still leaves him with 8 mana. So if he has an other Primordial Drake in hand, if you've got both Primordial Drakes already... Oh, he got double Sleep with the Fishes in hand. And now he completed the quest too. Oh dear. Really not what I want to be happening. Really not what I want to be happening. So I guess I want to pull him off the Hatchling. I can also play the prim Primordial Glyph first. Let's see what I can find from this one. Meteor is not bad. Potion of Polymorph is not bad. Let's grab that one. Because I can play that. I can still Polymorph his Taunt. And ping it away. He can obviously equip the Sulfurus hit this one and start using hero power to hit my face then i can play harrison and then we get to this that awkward time when oh dear so now he might oh he's i don't know somehow i have just a lot of trouble with this matchup every time I don't really know why. I I just have very little success with this matchup, even though this is supposed to be favored for the mage. But somehow I'm not feeling it. He's at 40 health. And what can I even do? If I play Harrison to remove the Vorax, I cannot remove the Soul Fear Slater. I've already spent Mediv. I just don't know how to win this game from here. I just don't know how to win this game from here. He's going to equip the Soul Fears now. No, not yet. So I have 22 damage in hand. And that is nowhere near enough. I start pyroblasting the face, but I just don't see the out. That Drake is a huge deal as well. I have a secret to activate Medius Valet either. And I probably need to kill the Drake. But he just keeps armoring up, he keeps playing whatever taunts he can find. Then eventually he will go for the quest after after enough time has passed and he thinks he can win the game with the quest. I would need to find a secret to activate the Medivh's Valet. 
that's exactly enough. Archaeologist pulls a secret. I can play the secret and I can Medusa Valet the Ghoul. Alright. He has, still has board brawls remaining. Oh, and he has that. So much arm. So very, very much arm. Maybe I used the Pyroblast too soon. No, actually, he had, uh, all it did was remove some armor. I didn't use it too soon. He can just brawl away the Alexstrasza, so most likely. He still has both brawls. I think I need to take the chance. Let's deal that 14 damage here. This should result in a brawl. He will hit face first with the almost oh, bit and then he will brawl. But there's one in four for me to win win that brawl with the Alexstrasza. And only one in four for him to win that with the armor smith. Oh dear. Getting more and more taunts. He's still at 27. Violence portal face. He has one taunt from that now. I'll probably violence portal face anyway here. No! Bomb squad. That's a really annoying low roll. So, my Phylon spot to his face actually dealt 5 damage to me. Wow. And now he also gets the Harrison out. So I cannot remove the... I cannot remove the soul for us anymore. He's going to brawl again. Alright. <laughs> bomb, at least the bomb squad wins. I don't get the damage yet, but that might be bad later on. Cabalist Tome from this one would be pretty good. I guess Violence Portal will do as well. Both brawls are gone now. No! Not an abomination! That's terrible. That's going to kill the bomb squad and deal the 5 damage to my face. Ugh. That was really painful. Why? Why the abomination? Why? I don't know even. I have to give him some armor. And he also gets the 6-9 into his deck, so... Getting through that will be a problem later on. I think I'll Frostbolt face now. So I prevent him from killing the Abomination with Sulfurus. I think this kind of tempo play is the way to take here. Because now I know he has Sulfurus and whatever he top decked. So if this is not a taunt minion, there's still a chance. The hero power just has to miss the abomination. It's one in three. One in three for him to hit the abomination now. If he can't get this hit on this minion here, <laughs> then I would have probably won the game. I would have probably won the game if he didn't get that hit. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Excuse me. You are on so I need to freeze his face again. Oh, 
but he's guaranteed to draw the 6-9 taunt now. So am I just guaranteed to lose? I think I'm just guaranteed to lose now. I was guaranteed to win if he didn't hit the abomination. And guaranteed to lose if he does. Because he can set me to one with this. I cannot kill the dirty rat. So I cannot prevent him from popping me at one. And then I will die to fatigue. Guaranteed win if he doesn't hit the abomination. I was just able to finish crafting the Evolve Shaman. How well does it stack up a higher rank? The Evolve Shaman is one of the best decks in the entire game. You can play it to top one legend if you like. It's a great deck. But yeah. I had a 66% win on this game. He had to had to hit one of three. You have to hit the abomination with the hero power or, or I win. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.